All right, what's up, you bunch of nosy motherfuckers? This is OBB, the diecast news guy. And I just got one question to ask you guys real quick because, you know, that's probably the only point I'm going to say when I make this video and probably the only reason why I'm making this video because, sadly, there are still people out there that still go to your Walmarts and your Targets and they see a car from a PTC mold wave and they're cars that are exclusive, by the way. They have no other choice. They'd rather go and pay a shitload of money just to get a custom out of it or, boom, just accept the fact that this quality sucks and you just buy. Sadly, we still have people like that. So the whole point of this video is for me to hopefully persuade you guys out of that because it is literally like a bad drug addiction if you just all think about it. I mean, <laughs> but today, this is going to be on a diecast that um, I will have to admit, guys, I am just very disappointed in everything I'm about to show you because this was one of my favorite paint teams from 2022. Thankfully, the car from 2023 is a lot better, and that bitch is getting made. This car right here, I don't think I'm going to gain anything out of this. Keep that in mind. I don't think I'm going to gain shit out of this video. Because here it is. The die cast I'm showing you guys today. It's Ty Dillon's 2022 gain Chevrolet Camaro, all right, for Petty GMS. All of that does not make any sense anymore. This car is pretty much dated like ty dylan's career i hate to say that but time is up buddy time is up cup series ain't for you but sadly as you guys can see this is a car that is <laughs> it's on it's on the ptc mold oh my lord oh lord huh. what can i gain out of this what can i gain out of this i have no clue but before I'm about to go ape shit and absolutely crazy on this car, I'm going to show you guys the back of this and just strongly encourage you guys, for anybody who's watching this video, that there's going to be a lot of foul language and a lot of probably inappropriate comments or whatever the hell's going to come out of my mouth because um, this is just absolutely atrocious. So I warn you guys right now because get ready because, oh crud, I'm already shaking. I'm already shaking, by the way, just already reviewing this car. It doesn't even help as well that Wave 6 and the distribution has been so awful. I literally just found this car like probably a few months ago. And I have not found this car ever since. But here is the sticker. As you guys know, we can no longer have any other magnets or stuff like that. Because apparently they are choking hazards. But last time I checked, I mean, if you fold this paper. And it's pretty much about the same width and length as possibly a magnet. Which, you know. So I don't know why stickers aren't choking hazards. But uh, this is why we came to nice things, guys. But... Yeah, I mean, this sticker looks cool and all, but um, it's just me or just that Ty Dillon. Uh, oh my god, isn't that text like low res? It looks like that Ty Dillon uh, card. It, look, look at it. The name looks like it has, it, it, it's like something you got it from like, uh, what, like Windows Paint or something. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, <laughs> look at all those freaking uh, pixels. Wow, even the sticker quality is absolutely horrendous. Oh, we're back to the piss card. Oh, I need to have one of these when I get on the John. But, okay. Right. All right, let's just get on to this um, beautiful, beautiful monstrosity. As look at me, my English is already out of the goddamn window because, oh my god, oh my god, I, oh my god, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like I don't even like like like. How, like, <laughs> how, what, how the, who the, why the, why does this exist? <laughs> to put this all on the exclusive is just like the biggest fuck you ever. Like, oh my God, talk about smell you later. Yeah, that's the smell of my fucking britches seeing this car, seeing how Lionel just fucked over the consumer yet again. Oh my god. Um <laughs> and you know, I I'm still gonna get those comments that are gonna be like, it's a five dollar toy car. What the hell did you even expect? Listen, alright, as look at this. I didn't even do anything and look, the paint chips already coming off. Like, what the, the fuck is going on here? And I attention everyone, I think my die cast has got shot. My die cast has got shot. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but holy shit, dude. <laughs> 
Anyways, what the hell was I trying to say before I got interrupted by that? Um, Jesus almighty, that's awful. I'm still going to get those people that are going to be like, it's a $5 toy car. Stop complaining. Listen, these things did not look this bad when they were $5, like not even like a year ago. Okay. And I know we got inflation and all that crap, but still, still, I just don't get this. I just don't get this. Like, I, how, 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 how? I know my camera is making this very bright and vibrant and a lot of people are like, I don't see any issues with this car. You don't see any fucking issues? You're telling me you do not see a single fucking issue on this. Come with me, motherfucker, because right here, I got myself, first of all, look at that goddamn green. Look at that bitch right there. It is so clean, I want to even eat off of it. Like, goddamn. But anyways, um, as being sus as that is right there, holy shit, this car, wow. So freaking beautiful. The front end looks amazing. And then you get onto this. I know my lighting did change a little bit, but wow. Look at that shit, dude. I mean, just look at that shit. Like, what in the hell is going on here? Here, I'm not here to bullshit you guys. I'm going to bring this goddamn laptop over here. Just showcase you guys that this is not a lighting effect or a lighting issue. Look, I had this thing in good lighting in the studio light, by the way. I'm not going to show you guys because I don't think you guys want to see the light today. <laughs> I will after this review. But look how much duller this green looks compared to this. Like, this pops you in the face like, damn, that is bright and vibrant. The orange is bright and vibrant. Everything on this is just so bright and vibrant. And then you get to this. Like, the orange is just already, like, the tip of the iceberg for this bitch. I mean, it's like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, like, I do not understand this at all. Like, especially that front end. Like, just, like, look at that. That is the saddest looking front end ever. Like, look, this thing is limping now after that shot. And look, this thing's at the suds. It's, like, sicker than a fucking, uh, like a, like, like a fucking sick head or something. Like, what the fuck? Talk about a bad case of chicken box. I mean, goddamn, it looks like this thing literally got squished in by, like, a sandwich or something. Just went, like, what is happening here? Like, <laughs> it looks like some, some badass just sat on it or something. Like, like, oh, God almighty, dude, this is just, this is awful. <laughs> compared, to, compared to that, I mean, good lord. And, wait a minute, what's up with those lines? The lines right here look pretty normal. Oh my god, the lines are raised up to shit! Look at that! Look at that! What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> this car is so screwed up, it cannot even place the right logos right. Like, look at that shit, man. How the hell? And you can clearly see that the decals are completely undersized because look at the weld. I mean, god damn. And nothing I'm noticing... I, I, I don't see any dark green lines. Like, what the fuck is this dark green line right here? Like, is this like a Ninja Turtle trail or something? Like, what the fuck? I don't see that on here. Like, I mean, that, like, what? Like, I, I watched Make It the Smartest Guys. Like, well, that's where the hood is. So you see, you see the lines of the hood. Does this look fucking normal to you, pal? I don't think so. I don't fucking think so at all. I mean, this thing is just so goddamn wounded. Um, just... Okay, before I absolutely destroyed this bitch of a car, I will say, I do like that they added, actually molded in the hood levers. I don't know why. They don't di they didn't do this on the Toyotas or the uh, or the Fords. But for some odd reason, the Chevrolets actually have um, vent ha actually have detail um, inside of the, uh, the uh, freaking diecast model. So that's pretty cool. But everything else about this sucks. I mean, I don't even have to explain about that plastic block of interior we got. It is so goddamn lifeless. Like, I think you could find Teresa Earnhardt or wherever, wherever her remains are in there. <laughs> I mean, goddamn. And just, again, what is this dark line? Like, first of all, it's not even lined up right, but just, what, what, what is this? Like, l look at this. This is just, that's Sunoco logo. Jesus, it's like riding off into a surf of hell. Like, <laughs> Those lines as well. I mean, God, and that Cup Series logo looks morphed. It's like, and look, like this thing, I mean, it has like a weird texture, guys. And you're being like, well, you guys, well, I'm wearing gloves. I I'm wearing gloves. Listen here, pal. I'm going to take these fucking, all right, there we go. I'm hands free. Look, look at this. First of all, I mean, that's why I have gloves. I mean, look at my fucking hands. I look like a, <laughs> a horror artist, but that's what uh, being an auto mechanic does. But anyways, off to my point. You're probably wondering, okay, smell you later, let's get off this. I mean, just look. And you're probably wondering, what, what is all these black lines that are right here, all right? 
and again, just has a weird texture feeling. It just looks so fucking weird, man. But yeah, guys, you're probably wondering what this weird black outline is. You're like, this is just looks so goddamn cheap. Well, these fucking geniuses at the freaking PTC mold factory thought it would be a good idea to, you know, paint a car that's supposed to be all green. Last time I fucking checked, they decided to paint it all black. All because they did not want to color the spoiler separately. That is just the most laziest thing you could do. And it's no wonder why these cars are so discolored. It's no wonder the decals are absolutely awful. There is just no care, no effort put together by this factory, no matter what. Even though they did put some effort later on in the 2023 um, waves, rebranded as the JET factory, but still got issues. It's still got quality issues. The interiors are laughable. I mean, just, they got to paint the fucking cars, right, man? And plus, look at this decal placement, guys. Look at this. Look at all the air bubbles. Look, these things don't even line up right with the mold. Like, look, how can you even not si simply line that shit up? Like, how? <laughs> and look, even more black lines, more black lines. You know, this wouldn't be an issue if you painted the fucking car green like it's supposed to be. Because this green, it's supposed to be bright and vibrant. Like, okay, like, it's so bright and vibrant, like, 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 when you go to fucking Walmarts, all right? And you're at the fucking laundry aisle. You're like, okay. What the hell is that big old green thing right there? That's the game bottle. It hits you in the eye. It's like, buy game, motherfucker. With this, it just looks sad. It looks depressing. It's like, god damn, what did you do? What the fuck did you do, man? And apparently, from what I heard, also, the quality on the haulers have actually gone downhill as well. Um, apparently, they have grainy textures, but just it just shows you that just... No care is put into this shit whatsoever, man. I mean, yeah, the decal quality, I've heard, probably got better um, as the later waves came on. But just still, they got to fix what is fucking broken. And painting the cars right has got to be one of them. Getting the right size decals would help out as well. They said that this mold is actually more correct than the EL. Well, the decals don't line up right. So something is wrong, no matter what. But... Oh, I think I've already strained my voice enough. I mean, I don't know how much more I could take of this shit, guys. I can't believe I'm giving you guys another rant review after <laughs> after that Austin Cindric car. And again, these damn wheels, man. I mean, just look how the die cast rolls, man. Like, look, look, look how wedged up that tire is on this car. All right. And don't say it's my fucking laptop because, heck, here it is on my die cast stand. Look how wedged in is it is. It just looks so fucking bad, dude. As literally, my laptop literally almost went into a midlife crisis. So, um, <laughs> talk about it. Oh, shit moment indeed. But you know you fucked up when the green and the orange don't look as bright and vibrant as this. Or like this. Oh, my God. I can't wait for this car. This is going to be pure just awesomeness. Or even this. You can't tell me that this is the same fucking green as this. The same fucking orange as this. Like, my God. There we go. We got a blowover. There we go. We got a blowover. So that means that could be the end of this review. Let's have a good day. Nada. Goodbye. I'm out of here. Hasta la vista. Woo. Spin me right round. I don't give a shit because this is going to be the wrap up of the diecast review of the Ty Dillon Gain car from 2022. Let's forget about that because we got to look at this new must. Uh, well, I actually... There, this the prophecy has been told. This car is going to be in the EL mold, and it will be made in the 164 scale. We have been saved, guys. We have been saved. Hallelujah. I guess we actually did gain something after all. But anyways, this is going to wrap up the diecast or rant diecast review of get this garbage out of my face. Uh, well, whatever that car was. So anyways, this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. Come on, scribe, and um, yeah, I'm going to go do some laundry now. Good day. I said good day, y'all.